What's up, Zen Dude Nation? What's going on? This is Ask the Zen Dudes, episode number 20. And the first thing you're probably asking yourself is, where is Brandon? I'm currently in Philadelphia because my flight got canceled. I'm heading to Costa Rica tomorrow for the first ever ZDF retreat. Brandon is currently stuck in Oregon in Eugene. Um, he was at the airport, and then his flight got canceled, so he's trying to figure that out right now. And you know what? It doesn't matter, because you guys ask us questions, and they're still going to get answered, because that's how it goes down here at Zen Dude Fitness, okay? Uh, for the past couple of weeks, Brandon and I have been doing a lot of traveling and doing the meetups. All the meetups on the East Coast and the West Coast are done now. I just want to send a huge shout-out, and on the behalf of Brandon as well, huge shout-out and thank you to you guys for coming out to those and for supporting us. This is the first of many that we are going to be doing, so make sure to check out and look for those meetups in the near future. It is only I who will be answering the questions this week, but I'm super psyched because once we get to LA, guys, thank you for your patience over these past few weeks. I know that the quality when Brandon and I are on Skype of this show is not as good as it could be, and it's going to be much better once we are physically down and we've landed in Los Angeles and we'll get like a pretty legit you know, show set up going, um, even better than our last one. So, I mean, our last one, to tell you the truth, like you can tell, the production's not that great. We're gonna make it better. That's why we're going to LA to just level up another level. So uh, look out for those guys. Thank you for being patient and uh, thank you for all your support over the past few weeks with the meetups. Let's get into these questions. It's just gonna be me answering today, okay? So I'm gonna try to make this as entertaining and as fun as possible. Jordan McClure asks Did you guys play any Tejo while in Colombia? My dude, Brandon just told me what Tejo was, and it sounds like cornhole, except when you throw the things, there's explosions on the other end. I could be totally wrong. That's what it's, people are making it sound like. It sounds awesome. And, like, I've never played, personally, but any game where there's, like, you can throw things into holes, there's explosions, and there's people drinking beer, sign me up. That sounds like a super fun afternoon, so... Uh, I have never played, but hopefully we will play when we go back to Colombia, probably around December. Federico. Hello, dudes. What's up, Federico? Federico. Which is the right daily dosage of BCAAs? I do the thing six times a week and do 16 and 8 intermittent fasting. Thank you. Um, this could be a few different things. I mean, everyone's body is different, man, so please recognize that. The recommended dosage that we give to people is somewhere between 5 to 15 milligrams uh, per day. I used to take like 10 milligrams per day. Now I probably take like, I haven't taken BCAAs in a while, to be honest with you. I've not taken any BCAAs while I've been home on the road. Um, but I do take them probably three or four times a week. And it's usually somewhere in the range of like 5 to 8 milligrams. I haven't been as good about taking uh, like a full 10. But also guys recognize that like your nutrition and all that stuff has more to do with how you get the results. So like blanket statement, I would say do 10, 10 milligrams per day, whether you get that in the athletic greens capsule form, or you get it through scoops of some other kind of powder, just do 10 and try and do that a little bit before your workout, especially in the fasted state. Steven Decker, what's up, bro? I love your tap. What are the best exercises to target the love handles and the man boobs? Great question, man. First and foremost, please understand you cannot spot reduce, which is something that Brandon and I talk about a lot. You have to lose weight in your entire body. You have to lose body fat all over your body. You can't pick out your, your like, if you have man boobs, you can't pick those out and be like, oh, I'm going to get rid of these. And then like, that'll be, then once I have that, I can focus on something else. It just doesn't work that way. Now you can, you can sculpt your chest by doing things like bench press or a lot of push-ups, plyometric push-ups, things like that. But just understand that that's not going to, like, that's not going to make you reduce fat in those areas. And the way that you look toned and ripped isn't by just getting big muscularly. It's by reducing your body fat. And that, my friend, I know people don't want to hear this, but it's, it's the truth, guys. Like, you can't get around this. You lose body fat, and you do that by eating in a calorie deficit. Um, and calorie deficits are obviously a lot easier when you can... Uh, do high intensity workouts with them, so then you don't have to. Then you're burning calories as well, um, so you don't feel like if you're just if you're just eating less, that's not necessarily good. You need to be burning a good amount um, as well. So make sure to check out our calculator, which we always have linked up in the description. Time, 
Sam Hoffman. How you doing, bro? I'm not sure if this has been asked, but I work out at 6 a.m. and fast until noon. I take Athletic Greens BCAAs to help with fasting. Is it better to take 16 peels at once or better to split them up over a few hours? That's a great question, man. A lot of people get hung up on the Athletic Greens like 16 pill thing. It's the same amount as if you were taking scoops. They just happen to put it in pill form. So please remember that when you're taking Athletic Greens. Um, it might not be awesome. You might not love taking the pills, but it's the same thing. Like just guzzle them down with water. It's really easy. Um, so to answer your question, Tom, um, I work out six a.m. and I fast until noon. I would be like, I don't like the idea of taking sixteen pills at once. So personally, dude, I think you'd be fine if you took eight in the morning, like right away, like right after your workout, and then after you break your fast around noon, one o'clock, two o'clock, like take the rest, take the rest of the eight. I think you'll be fine, my friend. Always focus more on calories and macronutrients. That is the biggest contributing factor to how you're going to look, though. Remember that. Remember that. Leaf. Do the Zen dudes worry about eating grass-fed meat, eggs, dairy, etc. to keep your omega-6 to 3 ratios in check? And do you bother with omega-3 supplements like fish oil? Peace out, players. I'll be real with you, man. I eat grass-fed as much as I can, and it has nothing to do with... I believe you should just eat quality food. So anytime I can get quality food, I'm going to eat it. But I'm not going to sit here and say, like, grass-fed meat is, is like, exponentially better, better for you than, like, regular meat. I'm just not, because I don't... That's not what I believe. I don't think that... Like, for example, I think if you're just overeating any kind of meat... Let's say you're overeating grass-fed meat. That's going to be really detrimental to your health. It's going to make you gain weight, and being overweight is probably one of the worst things that you can do to your health because your organs have a tough time carrying around all that extra weight. They have to work twice as hard. Okay, so uh, I worry about it in the sense that, like ButcherBox, the company that we work with now, that sends will send you fresh grass-fed meat to your doorstep. I'm totally on board with that because I think like if I can get grass-fed meat, then I want to eat something that's more natural. However, I'm a believer in the fact that like if you sweat a lot and you drink water and you try and like do the best you can, then these little intricate details of like is this organic or not is doesn't actually play as big of a role as we might think in terms of longevity of your life. I know there's like people who are all in organic food who are freaking out right now. But guys, like it's it's there's so many variables and everyone's body's different. You can't tell me that like every person who eats in a certain way will die young because that's not true. There are people who stay on this earth for like uh, over 100 years and they drink whiskey every single day. Like it, you can't look at everything that you see in a Huffington Post article and think, okay, should I be worried about this? So to answer your question, we eat as best as we can eat. So if grass fed meat is available and it's this, it's around the same price as regular meat, I'll always go for the grass fed or the eggs or something like that. But since we travel a lot and don't always have access to that, I focus more on worrying about the things I can w- actually worry about. So getting my workout in, drinking enough water, being happy, being stress-free, things like that. That's what I think is going to help you live a longer life, my dude. Um, Gerardo. Man, this is a long question, dude. Bear with me. This is long. Y'all may have covered this question before, and this may not even be appropriate. Dude, everything's appropriate for this. Uh... This doesn't happen in the dojo, but it does in the four-week challenge. You get some guy who comes along to show his picture of how he got ripped by the rope and then X, Y, and Z and X, Y, and Z are not what you, what you recommend through ZDF. And in a sense, uh, it's not like they want to, they're not intentionally trying to debunk what you guys at, at ZDF have created of the program. What do you and other moderators uh, think about this? Doesn't it piss you guys off that some... Some person tries to input what he or she thinks is better. For me, I'd like to see an overweight guy who lost weight in four weeks rather than see a cat who is quite ripped and says, look at me. I believe you all do great service and, and, and sell a great product for those who want to go the extra mile and be serious. And perhaps ZDF is not the best idea for some people. But it just seems like those arrogant of ripped people are not very courteous of your product. You cater to those who hath need of a physician not those who are whole, to quote, that's my socks. Okay, so Gerardo is basically asking, do we get pissed or do we get mad when someone comes in and says they did this or that with a jump rope and they got super ripped and it's not following our program that Brandon and I created? Do we get mad about that? No, of course not, dude. First and foremost, 
because we just don't care because Brandon and I are super lean. We've helped a ton of other people get super lean. So first, first of all, we know our shit works. Second of all, whenever someone, I, I truly believe that I truly, truly believe that people who talk a lot and the loudest person in the room is usually just not very important. And so people have to like claw and scrape for significance. And I truly believe the people who are quiet and just let things happen kind of not that maybe that's not the right way to say it, but don't get worked up about that stuff and just stay in their lane. The universe is going to reward those people. Here's take a perfect example. People, uh, the bigger that we get, people have been ripping our videos and copywriting them to use them for their content. And honestly, like it doesn't really worry me because it's not theirs and they'll never be Brandon and I. So they can make a few bucks by ripping our content, but it, it's not going to put food on their table for the rest of the, their life. It's not going to grow like a huge revolution like Brandon and I have like started and that you guys are, have continued to help grow. Um, I, I'm not really worried about people who, yeah, I don't know. Like people who come in there and say like, I did this differently than Dan and Brandon and I think this works, blah, blah, blah. Like, dude, that's cool. Like if you got ripped, all I care about is, you know, you posted it on, on our challenge. So honestly, that just makes us look better because like that's where you're, you know, it's kind of like the, the bad press type thing. Like people are like, aren't you so pissed when someone says something bad about you? I'm like, no, they said our name. Are you kidding me? Like that means more people heard our name. So I don't get offended by that stuff just because I truly believe you get back what you put into this world. So if someone wants to be a dick and like say this program doesn't work, you should do this, this and this like chances are people probably aren't really listening to that person and those people are just clawing for a significance. So instead of being mad at them, I usually just want to give them a hug because they need it. Brandon Epstein. That name sounds familiar. If Dan Whitmer could do a duet dance with anyone in the world, who would it be? Oof. I mean, dude, on, uh, fiction. There's this... No, whoa, sorry. Not fiction. Backtrack. Les Twins. Les Twins, L-E-S-T-W-I-N-S, are these French dancers. They're twin brothers. If you have not done yourself the favor of looking them up on YouTube... Please do so. It will blow your mind. If I could do a dance with them, that would make my life. I guess it wouldn't be a duet. It'd be like a triple thing, you know, because they're twins. Uh, but that would be my answer. Remy asks, how do I get bloated after a meal? Um, you're probably eating too much, dude. Or you're making the mistake that I have made before and still sometimes make. I'm not even going to sit here and sugarcoat it. You're waiting too long in the day to break your fast. And then when you break it, you feel super bloated because your stomach has like kind of condensed. And then you put all this food into it at one time. And that's going to make you feel super bloated. So I would just try and space out your meals um, a little bit more. But if you're asking like the science behind how you get bloated after a meal, I don't know. To be honest with you, sometimes I just get super bloated. <laughs> Then I don't want to go out, and I don't like that feeling. I hate the feeling of being bloated. Like, it sucks. So, yeah, I would just say space out your meals. Try not to just stuff your face. Try to eat slowly. Try to drink lots of water. Drink coffee. Drink something that's going to, you know, drink juice. Make sure you get enough juice. Uh, not juice, sorry. Fruits so that you're pooping and that you don't hold in all this, uh, you know, like if you eat a lot of cheese, it kind of can make you constipated and then that, that can help with the bloating, which is not a good thing. So make sure you're pooping, make sure you're drinking lots of water. Gurjeet, have you ever imagined to establish Zen Dude Fitness as a brand taking it to a multinational level? Bro, that's what we're actually doing right now. Um, one of the biggest reasons we're moving to LA is we want to establish, establish Zen Dude uh, not just as a fitness company. I mean, that's what we're going to be like, don't get me wrong for the next like long time. We're going to be a jump rope company that helps people get lean with jump ropes. But also guys, I think this whole fitness thing and lifestyle thing, it's, it's more than just fitness. Like it, it's, a, it's about living a happy life. It's about living a fulfilled life and it's about looking good, doing it in cool clothes that make you feel good. Okay. So like, uh, I'm, I'm, I know it sounds ridiculous, but I'm being serious. Like for us, we do hope to take Zen Dude past uh, just these two guys who jump rope. And yes, we do plan on turning this into a large company with many employees that spreads this revolution of, you know what it comes down to? This is what it comes down to, dude. Brendan and I think the world is just way too filled with negative people. 
the world is filled with so much negative bullshit and like we want zen dude to be this idea this representation of someone who just glides through the world like realizing that everything is fine like we live in this world today where like the stuff that you complain about is just not a problem like it's not we i like today my flight i'm sitting in this airport or uh, hotel right now because my flight got canceled that's my problem seriously my flight got canceled and i had to reschedule it for tomorrow like there's some people a long time ago i mean there's even still people like that now but like there's people in this world who don't know what they're going to eat tomorrow and don't know if they're going to survive and i think when people get pissed off and stressed out because like someone puts the wrong amount of milk in their Starbucks latte or whatever, then that's like, that's not a problem. And we just get pissed off. Like I was with a buddy. I love the guy to death. I was with a buddy the other day and he like was going to parallel park and this, tr this uh, bus was coming up behind him and he starts like freaking out, like screaming at the bus, like, Oh, I have to get in this space. And I was like, dude, I feel like you're going to have an aneurysm. Um, so I, I don't want to get down this tangent, but yes, Zen dude is not just going to be fitness. Zen dude will be a multinational brand. We'll have, I don't know if we're ever going to have a real office, but we'll have many employees all over the world with the main goal of helping people look good, feel good and have fun. That is our mission. That's why Brandon and I started this. That's why we're going to keep going. And that's why we get so excited when we hear from you guys, because you guys are the fuel to our fire. So thank you. Dio Cavidson. <laughs> See what you do with your name, bro. What are you, when are you going to make a playlist on Spotify? Uh, we already have one, my friend. I will link it up below just in case you didn't know that we had one, but it's called Dope New Jams and Brandon Epstein. It's on his Spotify, or you could search Zen Dude Fitness Playlist on my Spotify, which is Dan Whitmer. We do need to have like a Zen Dude Fitness Spotify account. Hmm. I'll think about that. I'll get back to you on that, my friend. Anita. What's up, Anita? Haven't heard from you in a while. Had an injury to piriformis? I don't know what that means. And I'm wary about jumping rope. I got to look this up. Piriformis. Piriformis. Ah, spine. So Anita had a spine issue and she's worried about jumping rope again it wasn't the rope that caused it just the build-up or just a build-up is there anything you recommend about approaching the challenge again i was going to start back at day one and build up slowly again first of all anita if you are injured especially if it has anything to do with your spine don't mess it up because then you're not going to be able to do the thing for like the rest of your life and that would not be good so what i want you what i want you to make sure that you do is check with your doctor and see if that person would let you do jump rope again and ease back into this very slowly. I know that people want to just hop on and do the challenge and jump rope every day. But if your goal is weight loss, please, please understand that how much you eat is a more important factor for how you're going to look. And so you need to rein in and, and get better at your nutrition before you start jumping rope every single day. Make sure you, your nutrition's on point. And Anita, what I would say to you is start slowly. Don't just rush back into this and damage your spine even more. That's going to make you sit on the sidelines for even longer. Ease into it. Do a lot of bodyweight exercises. Do some yoga. Maybe jump rope twice a week and then do yoga the rest of the week just to stretch yourself out and get those muscles strong again. Why do I gain a few pounds after drinking water even if I don't eat anything? It's because you just drank water and that's water weight. That's what, that's what we're referring to when, when people, when you hear the term water weight, that's literally, literally all it is, which brings me to another point of why it's so ridiculous to focus on the scale. Like, no offense, I don't mean to call people out, but I do feel that it is my job. No, sorry. It is my job to sometimes call people out. I'm just not doing this in a mean way. I'm doing it in a very honest way. But someone, someone said uh, a few days ago, like... I'm so happy I lost 0.2 pounds. And I was like, but you didn't though, because you lose more than, you lose like three or four pounds every day and you gain three or four pounds. That's if you're small. Like sometimes, like when I wake up in the morning, I guarantee you if I step on the scale in the morning, it's going to say like one, right now I'd say like 190. And by midday or when I eat, it's going to say like 197. So you can't look at the scale and, and that, have that be your judgment. Like we always talk about. You have to, the biggest deciding factor of if you're happy with your physique 
is literally like look in a mirror and decide if you're happy with it. Like a, a number on the scale is not truly representative of the progress that you're making. So don't freak yourself out by like you drink some water and then you gain a little bit of weight. Like, of course, because water, like it, this weighs something like, do you, you know what I mean? Like this is, this is going to put weight on you because if I can, cause it, I can feel that it's heavy. If I drink this, of course, when I step on the scale, all that water is inside me. I'm going to gain weight from it. So I wouldn't, I wouldn't worry so much about that. Um, just focus on taking pictures, trying to decrease your body fat, and also loving, just love your body. Jorge asks, when, I, when can I start working on abs? I still have to burn. I still have fat. I still have fat to burn, but will doing core exercises help to burn that fat too? Short answer, no. Ab exercises, think of your abs as their muscles. So if I did bicep curls, my biceps are going to grow if I eat correctly. Abs are the same way. You don't burn fat by doing ab exercises. You just build the abdominal muscles. But the only way you're going to see those muscles is if you eat in a calorie deficit and lose body fat. You can only see your abs if you are losing the fat that's around them. And you don't do that by doing sit-ups now. Once you've lost that body fat, you can, what people call toning them up, you can make them look more defined by growing the muscles in your abdominals uh, by doing certain core exercises, leg raises, uh, let's see, leg raises, planks, V-ups, those are all like my favorite, um, but don't do ab exercises, if, especially if you're not tracking your calories and macros, it's pointless, you're just going to do abs and be like, why am I not getting a six pack? You have to lose body fat. Sup, dudes. Daniel. Sup, dude. Uh, just a quick question. I have no time to prepare a breakfast. What kind of shake do you guys recommend? I've been drinking spinach, sometimes strawberries, five to six almonds, and water. It sounds pretty good. Sounds kind of like it'd be thin in consistency, though. I worry about that because when I make a protein shake, you better believe that it's delicious. Here's my favorite one. Let me see if I can remember this. We have it on Epic Protein Shakes. We have a video link. It's the first Epic Protein Shake we ever did, I believe. Um, but my favorite shake, and this is actually great for the morning. Sometimes when I would work out, I would, I would drink this like at like 10 a.m. if I was doing weights. Uh, blueberries, like a cup of blueberries, two to three tablespoons of peanut butter. Also recognize this is very high calorie, okay? So just, just know that. It doesn't matter that it's high calorie because you it's it's – implying that you did a pretty intense workout before that. Um, a couple blueberries, a banana, two to three spoonfuls of peanut butter, one and a half scoops of Athletic Greens protein, and then a bunch of ice and almond milk. That is my, that is my shake. That is my favorite. Try that. Alf asks, remind me again where the phrase do the thing comes from. Is it Ralph Waldo Emerson? Bro, it's Dan Whitmer and Brandon Epstein, man. Come on. Uh, yeah, no, that doesn't come from anywhere. That comes from us. Like someone asked me this the other day. Everything that has developed at Zen Dude Fitness kind of has been like the name Zen Dude Fitness. I'm just going to be real with you guys. Like the name Zen Dude Fitness developed because Brandon and I we're like smoking a J and thought it would be funny to like, cause we think that the world is a funny place and people take things so seriously. Like, where did you get the inspiration from that for your name? Like, Oh, I, it's my daughter's, uh, godmother's like birthing stone or I don't know. You know, you get the point though. We, we just wanted to make a super successful company that was based off complete, like, no, we're just Zen dudes because we're just chill dudes who like to enjoy our life. And that's like with do the thing, do the thing didn't come from anywhere. It came from us because I remember Brandon and I both used to get really tired of like people would say they people make excuses. People, most people in today's world make tons and tons of excuses for why they are not where they want to be. And so I got sick of it. And I started saying like like Shia LaBeouf's video where he's screaming on camera and he's like, do it, just do it. It's that simple. Like every day I talk to multiple people who make fucking excuses. They make excuses about why they are not at where they want to be in life, why they don't have the body they want, why they're not happy, blah, blah, blah. Do the thing. Like you don't, you know what it is that you need to correct. You know that in order to get sexy, you have to work out consistently and eat in a calorie def deficit consistently. So do it. Stop reading like a blog article telling you the same shit over and over again. Do the thing. You know what the things are? Do them. And deep down, you know what's best for you. 
And so do the thing originated out of this idea that in today's age, people are soft. People are soft. That's, I said it, people are soft. What they do is they read tons and tons of information about a certain thing and, and what they should be doing. And they, they like write motivational tweets about it and stuff like that or motivational like social media Instagram posts. But they don't do it. And so do the thing came about pretty much because I was frustrated when people would say like, oh man, I want to work out, but I don't have time. And I'd be like, do you brush your teeth every day? Okay, then exercise every day. End of story. Sorry, man. I get a little bit harsh and intense when I talk about this topic because I do believe that, I really do believe that everyone is capable of amazing things, but I feel like not enough people, very few people take action. Even when I find myself in situations where I'm not taking action, I just look at my like tattoos and I'm like, dude, why, you know what you have to do. Why don't you just do it? So that originated from us just wanting to uh, express ourselves in a way that would help other people take action on the things that are going to make their life better. Then dude, Bradis. Vince, what's up, my man? Can I skip doing the thing in the morning and do the thing when it's the evening? I wake up late in the morning sometimes. Dude, of course. It does not matter where and when you do the thing. It just matters that you do it. So do it. Ching Del Prado, what's up, my dude? What's up, players? What do you think? What's up, players? What do you think about vaping? Great question. If you're vaping tobacco, I don't think it's great for you just because it's tobacco. Um, I'm definitely someone who believes very strongly in the medical benefits of using marijuana as vaping it. And vaping, what I mean for guys who don't know, guys and girls who don't know, vaping is like you take marijuana and put it into oil form and then you suck it out of this pen that heats it up and it's just vapor so you don't get any smoke or anything not that i even feel like smoke from marijuana is that detrimental to you there's many research studies out there about that uh but if we're talking the cleanest form of using marijuana i would say it's vaping or vaporizing that's what it's short for and I personally think it's fine. I, again, I wouldn't use tobacco just because of the negative effects that not just cigarettes, but tobacco can have on the human body. Um, but vaporizing marijuana, I actually do believe if in the right amounts, now you, like, I do believe there is a lot of medical benefit to it. I do believe it can improve uh, people's lives, both physically and mentally. The problem with marijuana that I want to be very clear about is people are not educated. That's simply the truth. It's because it's illegal. People don't understand the medical benefits of marijuana. All they know is that it's illegal, and so it gets this bad rap. And because it's illegal, people who might have smoked one time and hated it and then say, no, marijuana is definitely bad for you, and like it made me freak out, probably because you smoke too much of it, dude. Like If you drank one time and drank a whole bottle and were like, oh, alcohol is terrible, it made me do all these crazy things, and I woke up the next day and don't remember anything. It's like, yeah, dude, you drank a whole bottle of vodka. Like you can't, you have to, you have, you guys have to understand that everything should be done in moderation. So do I think there's benefits to marijuana? Absolutely. Yes. Do I think you should be high in smoking it all the time? Absolutely not. Because that's going to affect the quality of your relationships and your life. You can't be high and be off in this different world constantly. You have to understand the amount that you're smoking, what type of strain you're smoking it. And why are you smoking it? Are you using it as a crutch because you don't want to leave your house? That's not a good thing. Or are you enjoying it with some friends as a way to kick back and relax? Or, or maybe get into a deep flow state while you're jumping rope? For those reasons, for example, I think it's fine. Tavanesh asks, how do I continue doing the thing with an ingrown toenail? Ooh, damn, dude. Yeah, I don't think you should, to be honest with you. I feel like jumping on it or even walking on it's probably like a bad thing i would get that checked out bro i would definitely go get that checked out um and then yeah i would i would make sure to also focus a lot on your calories and macros and do a lot of walking if you can um if it's like seriously ingrown and it hurts really bad dude like i'm sorry but you just can't jump on it you can't like That'd be like if your ankle was broken and you just kept jumping on it. That's not going to help you in the long term. That's going to make it worse. So my advice would be go get it checked out. See if you can get it taken care of and then start slowly when you come back jumping rope again. Is it okay to lift heavy weight during fasting? 
I've been doing intermittent fasting with BCAAs for the HIIT workouts, but am I able to start the muscle course as well with BCAAs? Absolutely, my friend. Now, I will be honest, if you're going to lift weights, I wouldn't lift weights in the morning and just take BCAAs and then wait till like two or three to eat. We have recommended to people that, you know, you can take BCAAs and then work out at 6 a.m., lift weights, and eat something at like 10 or 11, and that's fine. I don't think you're going to lose muscle. Or, at least, you know, if you're a bodybuilder, it probably matters a little bit more. Um, but, yeah, man, I would uh, – I, I think it's totally fine to f- train fasted. There's a lot of great blogs and stuff. If you just Google fasted training, I do believe there's a lot of benefit to it. The issue with fasted training is if you're going for super heavy weight and you really want to nail it, be careful, because your energy levels will sometimes suffer. That's why I can jump rope. Like I can, like today, I didn't, I literally didn't eat all day because I was traveling. But then I jumped rope and I'm totally fine. And then I ate afterward. But if I was gonna go lift a lot of weight, I would probably eat like a banana, some peanut butter, maybe a couple M and M's, maybe a coffee, maybe like a you know a protein bar, just to put some energy into my body before doing so. Yeah, yeah, ladies, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen, I wanna give a nice shout out to our sponsors today. I'm sure you've seen these guys, Crossrope. They were actually, did you guys know this? They were featured on the Today Show like two weeks ago. Um, They were listed for like top hottest new fitness products. That's because, that's because of this. I showed this to my buddy in Florida the other day. He was like, dude, this is the nicest jump rope I've ever seen. I was like, yeah, that's why we work with them. Because, the best thing about the cross rope is these handles are super sturdy. They're not going to break. I dropped it like three times when I was out on the sidewalk earlier, and I've had these for a while. Um, and although the initial investment is higher than most jump ropes, we stand behind it because you can switch out these cables when these wear down. So in the long run, whoops, in the long run, cross rope actually does help you save a ton of money while providing you an amazing experience for being able to change out regular ropes with heavy ropes or speed ropes for different types of workouts depending on what your goal is, like tricks or do you want to lose more fat, things like that. So the cross rope system, we don't just buy into this jump rope of cross rope, we buy into the system that cross rope has built around helping people have fun and look really good jumping rope. Also, we do have, if you haven't checked this out yet, go to the Zen Dude Instagram. No, no, go to the, our YouTube video. We reveal the new limited edition, that's right, limited edition Zen Dude Fitness cross rope handles. So we're actually going to be selling a limited, limited edition do the thing jump rope. That's going to say like Zen Dude Fitness. It's going to have do the thing on it and stuff. It's going to be pretty cool. I'm excited. Um, but yeah, these are these are awesome jump ropes, Scott. These are awesome jump ropes, guys. So if you if you want to check this out, this is the one that we always use in all our videos. We we are going to be working with Cross Rope for a very long time. So if you want to check them out, go to the link in our description below for a ten percent off discount. Then, lastly, we got the homies at Athletic Greens. This is our favorite green juice supplement on the market, and now they do have protein and BCAAs. Check those out below. Um, I like to talk mostly about this because for me, like I get protein from a lot of food sources and I drink protein shakes because I like them, not because I feel I need them. But this stuff I feel is very important for like healthy overall function and longevity because let's face it guys, not a lot of us always get vegetables. I know I'm a culprit of that and this helps me to hit my daily vitamins in a tasteful way, and it's more than just a multivitamin. There's a ton of good stuff in here. We also are pretty good friends with the owner, and we were taking this before we knew him. We just happened to become friends with him when we lived in Colombia. And I really dig his message. I dig, I trust him, and that's why we stand behind this product. So if you want to check out any Athletic Greens, uh, that is our sole nutrition sponsor. They are linked up below as well. Zendu Nation. I want to send a big shout out to you guys again. Thank you for tuning in every week with us. Thank you for bearing with us. I know that this isn't the most ideal way to watch these podcasts, me like sitting in a hotel room, but we will be getting back to the normal schedule of me and Brandon interviewing each other in person. So stay tuned for that in Los Angeles. Ladies and gentlemen, do the thing. Do the thing. Have an amazing night. We love you guys and we'll see you on the next episode.